Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. Yet again, I am your host, Anon Jr., uh, looking for a more relaxing day, or a more relaxing stream. Uh, need a different, a better end to the day. We'll call it that. All right. <clears throat> I, I completed, uh, since, <laughs> since I was on earlier, I completed one of these other challenges. Um, oh, bother. It's the one that gives you the sheep. Oh, wool collector. The one with the two next to it. I completed wool collector uh, a second time. So I've got my two sheep spawn eggs. I've still got my two pig spawn eggs. I need to, I need to start working on getting a uh, farm in place. Like a, a place to raise those kinds of crops. Um, I'm trying to remember which one was the one that gave you the cow. Because I still need a second cow. Uh, hi, Arcadius. Uh, that gives you four mycelium, which I don't need. Dirt and a baked potato, a golden carrot, a dirt, redstone ore, iron ore, and flint. Four redstone or five ink sacks. Four. Oh wait, no, you can't repeat that one. Um, redstone and iron. Redstone and iron. Okay, so I need to do expert farmer a second time to get a second cow. Great googly moogly. Uh, that's a <laughs> okay. Okay, a hundred and thirty. Uh, sixty-four is a stack. One twenty-eight is two stacks. So two stacks and another two of uh, sugar cane. Okay, okay. So it's pretty much everything that I did for expert farmer the first time, plus two. So that means I'm going to need four stacks plus probably another f two melon slices. Then two stacks plus two of everything else. I actually think I got most of that. Uh, let me grab yet another temporary chest. Let me grab a sign. Uh, is there one that I got more than one sign in? Just because I, I want to make sure I got a placeholder there. There we go. <laughs> you, you, you love my shambling mo uh, mound of temporary uh, <laughs> challenge chests. All right. Uh, USB. Expert. Is that going to give me expert farmer? No. Did that break? Oh, I forgot the slash, didn't I? What slash USB? No. What? What? What am I? What am I? I I'm forgetting something. Uh, where? Where's Spawn Island? Let me go. Uh, let me go. Let me go look at the example again. Yeah. Okay. So it should be USB, and then. The, the, the word. Hmm. So it should be USB in the word. Why? What in the word? Or is that another one of those challenges that you can't complete a second time? No? You can complete it again. Alright. Oh, Just be also made a mess on my desk eating, so expert farm. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna need 
Nom nom nom. Oh, yeah, thank you. I wouldn't want to be hungry. Alright, I'm going to need to wait for the pumpkins to come in. I'm going to need to wait for the melons to come in, because obviously I turned them all in prior to this. Natch. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Is that going to... Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's going to give me more than the two stacks in a bit. I'll come back to... <laughs> oh. I need more beetroots. This is a problem easily solved. All right, let me, I'm going to need two stacks and two, and I'll come back to bundle that wheat back up in a minute. All right, two stacks and two. Uh, let me get a little more. Oh, <laughs> I forget. I, I, I still got to move this. I still got to move this. I, I need to know where to move it, but all right, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. I just need two stacks and a bit. Look at those beetroots roll in. <laughs> this won't take long. Uh, the only thing that concerns me is, is uh, this method is uh, very dependent on your ability to get more bone meal. Because uh, well, th these guys were fully loaded with bone meal before I started this. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how loaded they are in a minute. Uh, let me get some of that out of the way. I also seem to be dealing with a, a slight lag issue of some sort. Is there not enough? Did, did I chew through all the bone meal already? No. Oh. Oh, I did. Uh, well, that's not good. Uh, how am I on beard seeds? Hmm. Well, that's not good at all. I thought I had that completely, uh, decked out. Apparently not. Uh, I need to get, <laughs> I need to get some more bone meal. With a quickness. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Although, as long as this gets me my last little bit, I can worry about that problem later. stack, two stack, and two. I need my two stacks and two. My two stacks and two. Oh, those are rolling in at least. I still need to expand those out too. Um, because 15, yeah, 15 plants aren't enough. I need more. I need more and faster. Oh, I got the stone cutter there. All right, let's, uh... I 
get the emeralds because I've been trading with the village people to buy glass and a few other things too. All right. Uh, I need two stacks and two of the cactus and sugarcane too, right? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. One, two. And two. One, two. And two. <laughs> that was quick. My placeholder's still there. Yeah. I, I've, I've been uh, going between getting emeralds, buying glass, getting gold... And then when I get enough gold stocked up, I head into the nether and do uh, do a little mini trading session. It's been kind of fun. Uh, mostly because... And I'll get to this in just a second. Three eighty-eight. What am I? What am I missing? Uh, challenge. Oh, the, the 130 pumpkins, so that would be 388. Yeah, okay, the pumpkins and the melon slices. That's all that's missing from there. I, I've been working on the Taj Mahal one, and so I got my chiseled quartz, my stairs, my pillars, my slabs, and now I'm working on the eight stacks of quartz blocks, courtesy of that one lone guy over there. Uh, the pyramid is, is making... Uh, less progress. <laughs> I really, really, really need a wandering trader to show up and, you know, sell me a stack of sand. I, I would greatly appreciate one of those guys showing up with a stack, key, key phrase, with a stack of sand. Please. My island, not rests. I, I even, I even have more space up there now. And it's spawnable space, too. All right. Uh, so while that's going... <laughs> no ice, no... Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. That That is the way it's going to be. Like, I really need some ice and sand. What's that you say? No ice and sand? Okie dokie. All right. Yeah, we're already at 20 there. We got a stack in a bit there. So that, that should be ready to go in a little bit. Uh, ooh, Nice. Oh, oh yeah, no, not nice. Never mind. Oh, that that is the other thing I've been doing is I've been gearing up on the die collection stuff. So, yeah, uh, when when I didn't think I when I thought I still had plenty of bone meal, I converted a lot to white dye so I could make sure that I was well stocked up on most of them. I do need to go ahead and make my little uh my my bit over here, so that way we can start getting the four colors that are harder to achieve. Uh, one of the, I, I've been, I, I need to get some more blue dye because, uh, I think what I want to do it, well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think what I want to do is use a combination of cyan, light blue, and blue to do a fog effect where I want the water at the border of my island and medics. And then do a little bit of actual water above that fog effect. Uh, so it looks like it's deeper than it actually is. I just... I don't know what medic is doing at the border of his island i was really hoping he was gonna hop on uh so that way i could i could talk to him about that medic if you're watching and you're able to hop on could, could you please hop on so we could chat about that 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 would be fantabulous uh yeah yeah i i know that feeling boy do i know that feeling i also i need uh i need oak I think I need to make the, the pillars um, eh, helps if you hit the right key. I think I need to make those pillars go further down, but a lot of that's going to depend on how we blend the border from my island to his. 
All right, so while we're waiting on the last little bits of the farmer, uh, I'm not going to worry about the flower farm just yet. Uh, I'm tempted to set it up so that way it'll automatically run as soon as I put bone meal in there. Yeah, normally I've got an on-off lever and some auto safety shut-off type stuff, but I don't want to tie up any hoppers with the flower farm because I I'm nearing I'm nearing the limit and I think I've got too many other places where where hoppers are going to be needed. Um, so instead, so instead, um. I think I'm just going to set up uh, the flower farm to be a very basic machine that turns on when you add bone meal and shuts itself off when you run out. You will obviously have had the inventory space for the flowers produced because otherwise you wouldn't have brought that much bone meal. You couldn't have brought that much bone meal. Uh, and I don't have to worry about anybody else using it, so as long as I remember how it works. Yeah, I know. that That is some wishful thinking. You're right. Uh, as long as I remember how it works, it should be okay. <laughs> Which means it won't be okay. I, I know how that goes, too. Yep. Uh, I, I've been running the cobble generator and smelting it into stone. Stone, because I, I think, well, I'll, I'll get to that part in a minute. Uh, oh, that is moving quick. All right, let me go. Let me go back to the top, because I think what I, what I want to do is over here. Since I don't know what I'm doing on that side of the border, I'll work on this side. I don't love that staircase. I mean, it is going to have... Uh, in order to blend it in with the bridge where I have it, it's going to have to be this way. Uh, the middle looked right. I'm just not sure about the sides. So I might play with that a little bit, but I, I think what I want to have happen is I want the land to be level with that island as it comes out. And to start going from grassy to rocky, like maybe maybe about here-ish. And then have a rock face come down. So the rock face will actually go out to here and come straight down. So it'll look like this staircase was cut into the rock. Uh, so for that, I'm going to need raw andesite. I'm going to need stone. I'm going to need cobble. Um, and I don't know what, what else would, uh, what else would look like it would fit in that kind of a natural rock formation. Uh, cause I, I do plan on, I do plan on using slabs and stairs and walls and, and things like that to kind of help give the terrain a shape. Because I want water to be coming from somewhere on the central island. Still not sure where. But I want the water to be coming from somewhere in the central island. And then go over maybe a waterfall or two waterfalls into that water at at the border. Yeah, some hidden... Oh, yeah, some hidden ore blocks. Uh, the problem is I don't, I don't have that many. I mean, other than some iron ore... I've been kind of saving that because I still <laughs> I still plan on actually upgrading the server to the 1.17, uh, so, which means we'd be able to fortune the iron, um, and then I could make some of the raw iron blocks and use use that. Yeah, I know. Uh, and honestly, I think I'd I'd probably maybe throw a couple of yeah, I got some coal ore. So I could put I could put a little bit of coal and iron in there. Yeah, no nothing much. Uh I get a couple I got a couple gold. I'll think about that. Um I might also want to put some clay blocks in there for texture. Ooh. Gravel. Clay and gravel. I'm gonna need a little bit of that in there too. Uh I'm going to need some coarse 
dirt here and there. Uh, them dirt supplies are low. <laughs> you know, it's weird because last season we had more dirt and grass blocks than we knew what to do with. And now I'm sitting here looking at, oh yeah, a double chest will be, I don't know if a double chest is going to be enough space for mother grass and dirt. And, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, they can't all be winners. All right. Let me grab my stone cutter. That's what I need to do. I need to make some more of those. I'm tired of grabbing the one and running away from here to there. Uh, stone cutter. What was the recipe again? Okay, three stone and an iron ingot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let, let's solve this uh, where's my stone cutter problem right now. Uh, do that. We'll do that. And we'll make us a stack of stone cutters. There we go. Problem solved. I will never have to run around wondering where my stone cutter went again. You know, I'll put one there. I'll put one there. Uh, I'll have... I'll, where can I put one over here? Um, you know, let, let's... Come on. I forgot my hatchet. All right, and we'll put one there. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll throw one right there. Uh, there we go. And I'll put all but two of them. There we go. No more words, my stone cutter. Uh, I do need to put the oak slab back. All right, so I need to grow more oak, but I need... All right, all right, all right, focus. Grab two... I'll grab some walls. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll make the more slabs and stairs if I need them. Uh, I'll grab a couple of those. I didn't make a lot. All right. Grab some buttons because they make nice pebbles. I'll grab some slabs. I'll grab some stairs. Should probably make more of those too. Uh, all right. I said I needed stone cobble. I need some raw andesite. That is not going to be a problem. Uh, oh, I don't think I have a spot for wall. Is there an andesite wall? I thought there was. Yeah, okay. Why is there an andesite wall, but not a polished andesite wall? I mean, am I am I the only one who wonders about that? I think I'm the only one that wonders about that. All right. Um... We, we, we just got done talking about... Oh, uh, I'm going to need some gravel. I'm going to need some clay. Um, hmm. Is there anything else in there I'm going to need? No. Not gonna need terracotta. No matter what I stain it, it's not gonna look right. Um, no glass. Uh, no. Ooh. Well, that's gonna be a problem. No, never mind. No sand. I guess that's it out of what I got. I mean, that is what we just got done. Oh, ores. Oi. All right, I'll grab some of those. We'll grab some of those. These and those and those and those. Uh, 
and I'll worry about the glass later. Okay. Was that everything? Stone, cobble, andesite. I should probably grab just a little more cobble. No, I don't need more cobble. Uh, stone, cobble, andesite, clay, gravel, a couple of ores. Alright, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll grab a couple of gold too. Alright. Uh, I'll worry about vegetation once I get the main, the main bit done. I'll throw in the coarse dirt to help with the transition once I get the next bit done. I'd like to do something with the blackstone, but I don't think that's really going to blend in well. That That's going to, you know, that's not going to blend in well. Uh, oh. Oh, uh, basalt would be wonderful. I need a basalt generator. I need to make a basalt generator. Um, yep, okay. Let's, uh... Grab us another chest. Let's drop our supplies off over there. And let's detour, <laughs> detour a little bit more. Uh, and get a basalt generator going. Yep. I almost want to put all campfires instead of these for end caps too. Am I wrong for that? Does that seem right to you? Why, why did I go all firefly on that? Does that seem right to you? Why am I? Juba early? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take this land and we shall call it our land. All right, that's medics. Um, yeah. I might come back and make a bunch of fires and campfires and just run them across the top here. That, that would be an epic way to light it and to both light it and, uh, just be special. Actually, let's you know what? Let's do that right now. While well, I'm thinking about it, because obviously my short-term memory is working at peak inefficiency. So uh, I forgot to count how many fires I needed. You know what? Let's just do that. Uh, you know. Uh, no, the drawbridge does not work, Pink Geek. How are you doing today? And let's make a bunch of campfires. All right. I misjudged that just a smidge. Maybe I should go fishing. It's raining. Isn't that the best time to go fishing? All right. Oh, I need my hatchet. My hatchet. <laughs> it's not an axe. It's a hatchet. Uh, I'm going to want the Silk Touch since I'm playing with ores. I'll get my Shovel since I'm probably going to need those too. Alright. I know this is all set as a Mushroom Biome, but I really, really, really want to make sure that I light this up. Which is why I naturally forgot the two torches I meant to do. Last one. I don't know where Beach Duck is. Uh, 
Usually she says hello. Although I also got off to a late start. So I, I wonder if she thought I wasn't streaming because uh, I wasn't there. Ah, of course. All right, so there's two of them down there. Is that going to give me what I want? Yes. Okay. So I need to make sure I'm facing that way so they're oriented in the same direction. <laughs> I mean, that is a good guess. Once I get this finished, I probably ought to do a massive fish fry and just put four fish on each of these campfires. Hang out on the dock fishing. <laughs> yeah, no, the medic, the, the draw, the medic doesn't work. The drawbridge doesn't work. Medic works. That's why he's not here. Uh, I don't know why I'm running back and then dropping down my spot when there's this one right here. Alright, that is slightly nerve-wracking though. <laughs> Alright, while I'm here, I want to double check on progress and I meant to leave a stone cutter here because I still gotta build an exterior for this farm, but I'm not gonna worry about that until I finish building out because I want to extend this back, I think, two blocks, which will let me add one more plant on each layer. And then I'm going to extend it up another two layers, maybe? Question mark? We'll see. I mean, look at that. that, that that's just what we, you know, that, that's not enough. We need more. Maybe I should work on having a stack of plants on either side. Alright. Let me take what we got for right now. Although we're almost there on the melon slices. It's the pumpkins that are all sorts of slow. Let's not run around with enderpearls in our hands. That, that, that seems like a way to end up exactly where you didn't want to be. I could giant clippy going, hello, it looks like you wanted to teleport into the void. No. No, I didn't. Nope, not that one. This one. And we'll put the spruce planks back for now. Um... Maybe that's what I gotta do is spell it out. M A H A L. I'll figure that out later. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about you and your buddies over in the iron farm. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll manage that in just a minute. All right. Um, let's hoof it over to the iron farm. Since I didn't trade with them yesterday, I should be able to get three rounds of trading with each of them if I start the first round before 8 o'clock. Because normally it's just two rounds of trading, but since they're they're still untraded with, I should be able to get one more round in. Let's uh, lock that down. Uh, I'll need to remember to get a bunch of the poppies too. But we'll handle that in just a minute. Hi guys. Do, do I need to give you a minute? So they're not going to trade just yet. 
I gotta wait until 8 a.m. for that. While I'm at it, let me go ahead and grab uh, all these poppies. Uh, I'll keep a stack to turn into red dye. And then I can put the rest in the composter so I can start working on the bone meal. Matter of fact, since I got 30 seconds before they're up anyway, I can I can run there and back again. There and back again. A Minecrafter story. The crafter lived in a hole, not a dirty, nasty hole. There we go, so that's going to work. Run faster. i got to remember to do this so I can start getting more quartz blocks. I kind of wish there was a way to turn the quartz pillars into something useful too. Hi guys. Hello. And where's your friend? There we go. Oop. Already ready, already. That's a yes. That's a yes. Any of you guys got an extra trade in you? Sometimes that happens. No? Okay, fine. Be that way. Alright, let's uh, go get the quartz blocks and then we'll get back to our... No, oh, I needed basalt. That's what I needed. I need to go grab a bucket of lava. Oh, I meant to grab a stack of iron to top off what was over here. Uh, one step at a time. One step... Look, you seem organized compared to me. Get back on your lamp. Hello. Don't look at me like that. Gear up for another trade, man. Come on. This is working time. You, you got room for a third one in you? Hmm? Hmm? You got room for a third trade in you? No. Of course not. Alright, while I'm at it, let me get more blue dye. up the emeralds on the off chance a wandering trader does in fact decide to make his way over towards where I'm at. Not gonna happen. Uh, I should probably check on my cactus farm too. As much as I'd love to start dumping cactus into the bone meal, uh, I need I need sand. I need sand. Because that's one more sandstone. <laughs> you, you, you noticed in the time it took me to get uh, 24, 24 quartz blocks, I got a sand. Uh, I think it's time to expand out the cactus farm too. So I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to take the sugar cane farm out the top and move that somewhere else, which I, I've wanted to do anyway, and put a second or maybe even a third layer on that cactus farm. Not today, though. That, that That's too much like hard work. I'm not up for hard work today. Uh... Just out of curiosity, you get a third... Oh, you do have a third trade left in you. All right, then. 
look at you. I'll take it. Do you have a third trade in you? No. Slack. Oh. Here I was getting ready to call you a slacker. I apologize. What about you? You, you get a fourth? No. You get a fourth? Nope. Slacker. Alright, let's get our uh, another 12 quartz blocks right there. Let's drop off our blue die there. If I wasn't so short on sand, I'd almost think about dropping in some uh, gray and light gray concrete powder. Although I'm putting this near actual water, so that that might not that might not be the smartest idea. Uh, I probably should bring more dirt up here to start spreading it around too. Uh, I probably should. All right. Let's grab some andesite and stone. Because I, 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 what I wanted to do is I want to start with the stone and andesite and then transition so that way the area closer to the water is more cobble than stone. Uh, because that's going to be the rougher area where the water's been, etc., etc., so let's just go ahead and I need I need to break this up more. Although I can probably do that with uh, elevation and whatnot by throwing in more stairs and slabs and things. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab uh, stairs. And slabs, and I'll get. My inventory in a hot mess, and I'll. So we got stairs and slabs and blocks. I hope gravity doesn't decide to take over. And we'll go for some stairs. And slabs and blocks. Uh, I, I'll take the walls with me. There, there is no plain stone wall, is there? No, there, there's just a stone brick wall. Why isn't there a stone wall? Are they stonewalling us? No, they're literally not. Sorry, I couldn't help that. I mean, I could have helped that, but I couldn't. All right. Let's start throwing a little bit more of this in here then. Like we can throw one of those right there. We can throw one of those right there. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll have to put a couple of more protrusions out that way too. I'll just throw a couple of like that. All right. That's not helpful. Sure. We can do that. That could work. Throw something like that out there. Well, um, very precariously. Go like that. Gives us a little bit more. Oh, where's my uh, where's my buttons? throw a few of those around, right? Oh, this is going to be so... Th this is going to be time-consuming. And tedious. Did I mention tedious? It's going to be very tedious. 
Maybe worth it. We'll see. Um, shoot. I need to be down there. All right. Uh, there we go. Because I need to put something there and there. something on that side of that stair as well. Uh, is that going to do it? No. The other side's open, isn't it? throw another one there? Or did I still miss? I think I still missed where the problem is, didn't I? Nope. Nope. I got it. Okay. Sweet. Uh, oogly moogly. I gotta figure out where the end is. Ooh. And that does beg another question. Do I want the water to run like a hard edge over there or do I want to find a place uh, find a way to blend it in like maybe maybe have the edge of the cliff at that corner and then sweep back and down and then back and around just a little bit on that yeah uh I mean sure it's no chapel project At least my other terraforming projects didn't have, you know, that tumble below them. <laughs> I mean, when, when I was building that uh, that mountainside uh, in Season Zero, I didn't have to worry about tumbling to the bottom, the literal bottom of the world. Ah, uh, okay. I see how it is. <laughs> All right. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? All right. Let's. Yeah, sure. Let's throw one of those there. Why not? How do I want to do the... Oh, uh, maybe I should get... Maybe I should get some more slime for scaffolding. And I'm probably going to want to rough up that edge a little bit more. I, 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 think I'll, I think I'll do this in stages. And just get a solid three block wide strip down and a right turn about where I want it. And down and a right turn about where I want it. And then uh, and then I can go from there. I, I almost want to just throw in a quick um, block shaped L at the appropriate elevation and um oh all right i'm already screwing this up because i really wanted the cliff face to go forward more so i really kind of wanted it to start here and go down That's fine. Oh, let's, uh, uh, that, that was almost a, a, a short, <laughs> short trip back to the respawn. All right, don't let me forget to get that. 
people wouldn't want to go wasting resources. Yeah, so that'll put it one, two, three, four, five, six blocks wide. Yeah, I think this will curve forward just a little bit. Ah, all right. I'll, I'll go with this for the moment. Uh, and actually, I other than all right, let me move that out of the way first. Let me get those before they despawn. Before I forget to go get them de and before they despawn. Maybe that's what I need to do. Flood all these blocks. Actually. I've got Depth Strider. If I just flooded all these half slabs all the way across the platform, that would mean I would never have to worry about falling. Well, okay, maybe not never. Depends on what I fell on. Holy mother of bets. Uh, that's that's on my two figure out list. Where are all the bats coming from? Although I guess I guess I give a, I guess I do have a couple of areas that are not lit up enough. Yeah, I got a couple of platforms that are probably the culprit. All right, let's uh, grab the melons and pumpkins. That have gone through the Minecraft day. I think that actually might be enough um, melon slices. I can't talk to them until 8 o'clock. Although maybe I can. Because th those other guys had a third trade in them throughout the day. I, I wonder if these guys did too. I know I am giving very serious thought to uh, flooding that whole platform. I don't even want to think of what that's going to take, because without a block underneath it, the water won't... The, uh, the water won't, uh, spread like it would, uh, on something with a full block next to it. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Ah! You guys are horrible. Alright, I'll be back. I also need to finish editing down that uh, video for a new intermission. I'll show you that when I get it finished. I got a little bit of help from Pinky. Yeah, I just need more pumpkins. Because I want to say it's that many and two more, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's it. Hmm. So, melon slices are good. I just need pumpkins. I don't know why the pumpkins are so slow. Maybe that's what I ought to expand first. Although I say that, and there's five more. Uh, Alright, let me grab that. And let's go see these two yahoos about some diamonds. We'll get the quartz trading and die out of the way. And then back up to the mountain. Back up to my side of the mountain. I vaguely remember that story from English class. Further back in the day than I care to mention. Hi guys. No more XP to get up there? No? Okay. Hi. That's a yes. That's a yes. Hello? No. Is that it? You don't have a third one in you? Do, do, I, do I need to wait a few minutes and come back later? Is this, uh, see, see us after lunch? Alright, 
Fine. I don't I don't have all day to wait over here. Give me some more iron. Break time's over. I wonder how many pumpkins uh happened in that little bit. <laughs> Probably a few. Probably a few. No. None. Okay. thing. Two. We'll go one. Come on. Bubble, bubble. Toil and trouble. Two. You got your third one? You got your third wind yet? Nope. Okay. And there that is. I think that's going to be about it for those. Eh, maybe I'll get another 20, 20 some odd and then, and then call it done. Because uh, what I have planned for up there is going to require a lot of dyed glass. There is every bit of chance that that is not going to be enough of any of those. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll top off that stack. Uh, let's see. You got your uh, third one yet? Nope. All right. I got to get back to cracking on the, uh, on the, on the cliff face. Homeward bound. stuff and some clay and gravel you know let, let's just let's just get everything let's just get everything uh i'm gonna want some stairs i got a bunch of walls because i know i'm going to want the cobble to kind of start like there ish I guess it doesn't really matter because you're you're not likely to. Well, uh, no, no, you're not going to see past one more above that. Not on this side anyway. Uh, so let's get a cobble there. Let's get. Where's my stairs? Because if I put stairs, it will connect there. All right, so we got cobble there, cobble there. This is going to be where the cliff face comes out. We'll need things like... Need things like... That there... Because then it's going to go water. And I don't know if I'll need to do... Um, yeah. I don't know what I'll need to do past there. So I'll burn that bridge when I get there, I guess. All right, we'll go maybe something like that. Something like that. Right. 
Nope, that's not nerve-wracking at all. Nope, not even a little bit. There we go. That kind of works. And we'll start getting more stone up that way. Because I actually think that it's going to be a little bit more... Yeah, we can, we can work with that. Just going to make sure that I throw a few... Actually, that might help out kind of nice. Uh, we'll go... Like that. Yeah, that does, that does make some nice little interesting coves and things. Yeah, because I think that's about as far back as I want to go. No more than one or two that way. Uh, that is nice, but I, I do want... No, that doesn't look... Uh, that doesn't look connected enough. Maybe a cobble wall? Because it's attaching to a bit of cobble right there. And this is meant to be... Like the more windswept, rocky, water worn out. Yeah, so we get a little bit of little bit of stone just kind of precariously hanging on there. That could work. Not too many of those, but enough. Um, I almost wonder would uh, would throwing where'd my andesite go? Let's, let's leave that for now. Let's see how it looks in the context of more wall. Uh, so I don't I don't want to do a stair there, but I might go no other way other way go down like that throw a slab like that. Um, because that's not precarious. Uh, let me throw a little bit of clay like that and down like that. Uh, I don't want to put the gravel until I got somewhere to, something to put it on. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. But I can go like that. slabs though. That still gives us our little cove-like bit there. Let's uh let's be mindful of that, shall we? Now I've already got a little too much andesite there, so let's try. That's not what I wanted. Oh I got very lucky. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, because that's the... Oh, that's the top of the block, isn't it? No, oh, and I did not get lucky on that one. That's what I want. 
to get that there. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's where's my stone slabs? Stone slabs. Yeah. We'll just kind of get build like that further out. Uh, and that way this looks like it was carved in. Uh, maybe, maybe throw in a, oh no, cause that's a slab. <laughs> maybe instead of that, I'll go, where's my andesite stairs? Did I use them all already? Here's my stone stairs. There's my andesite stairs. I wonder if I did that and that. Except that's not quite good enough. Um, so I'm already going to see that on that side. Let me go ahead and go like that maybe. There's a way to turn this around so I get a narrow point because I did that with uh, with one of the other projects. There we go. That got me a nice little narrow point there. I got a couple of little cubbies over there. It looks like I got some cleared out space under there. And I think... So I got my upright stair and my upside down stair and my cobble there. I was thinking about trying to put a bit of gravel there instead of cobble, but I don't think that's going to work. Is that going to be too weird a color? Although we got that and that. Okay, so that's that's just a little peek of something different. Cause that that is not I'm not I'm not liking that. I am not liking that all Sam I am. I wonder though if I can I'm okay wasting cobble because it's cobble. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a little bit better. And that puts the clay closer to the water, uh, which is going to help with the transition there. I just, all right, so I just need to figure out where I'm going to throw more, more gravel. Uh, you know what? That's not a bad place to put gravel too. I don't have to worry about that falling. That helps with a little bit more texture. Okay. This is starting to look better. So how long is it going to take me to do that all the way across the border of an island? Uh, especially since I actually want to start pulling it forward a little bit more because I, I really want the cliff face to be more even with the bottom of the stairs. So I need to turn this out just a little bit more. Cuz I kind of wanted something a little bit uh a little bit more like And 
and then go across that way. Actually, that could work just like that anyway. Can you put a button on gravel? You can put a button on gravel. Huh. Matter of fact, instead of doing a full bit of cobble, let's grab... Did I not bring cobble half slabs? I do now. Do like that. And like that, and that'll help bring it down a little bit more. And that's about as far as I'll go stone-wise in this direction. I'll just focus on bringing it out a little bit more. Because I want this side to be level with the top. something. I need more coffee. Hmm. I need more scaffolding is what I need. Actually, that's what I need to do. I need to go, I need to go get my uh, big old stack of slime blocks and just make a, a temporary bouncy platform that, that I move across with me as we make our way around the corner. It's uh, it's time to do a little bit of trading again. Alright, let's put everything away. I think I dropped some stuff. So let me go grab that anyway. If it's still there. If I did in fact actually drop stuff. Well, if I dropped it, I waited too long. All right, let's go get our pumpkins and uh, get our trade on. Ah. Need more, more pumpkins. But to do that, I need more ice. To do that, I need a better ice tray. Uh, something that gives me a little bit more yield for the work. Of course, I've been saying that for a while, too, so... Uh, okay, let me go ahead and try to get that mended while I'm at it. Hi, friend. Who's got the next round? There we go. Nothing? Nobody? Slackers. All right, let's go get our quartz. Opening up the chest lake is just going to magically be there. Hi, friend. Hmm. I should probably get some more of those, too. Oh, come on, man. You have work to do. Work. Ten, you can't blame it on the time of day. Did you seriously just do that as soon as I turned around? 
I think he seriously just did that as soon as I turned around. Alright, uh, 60, 63. That'll be good enough for now. And we'll get more out of you. And that's why I was over here looking at boxes. Because my short term memory, such as it is. You got a third one in you? Not yet. You got a third one in you? Not yet. Or do you? No. Ah! Fine. I don't, I don't have all day. Wrong one. There we go. Alright. You know, I need more inventory space for the inventory shuffles, so we'll take those, put them there. Uh, I'll hang on to the tools, I'll leave the sword, push comes to shove, I, I can use my axe for combat if it comes down to it, although it comes down to combat in a mushroom biome, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong, and I feel like I'm forgetting, oh, I was going to grab some more cobble slabs, look, cobble slabs. Just out of curiosity. You got that third? No. Uh, nope. Okay. That's right. That's, uh, that's everything we needed. Oh. Do I have enough, uh, do I have enough cacti for another sandstone? I do have enough cacti for another sandstone. For two more sandstone. Nice. I gotta figure out what I want to do with all that sugar cane, though. Uh, I, uh, I am in need of dirt. I'm also in need of bone meal. Do I want to just bone meal all that sugar cane? I mean, I don't want to. Do I need the dirt more or the bone meal more? I need the dirt. Okay. So we get a little bit more dirt. And two more, uh, <laughs> two more sandstone. So I'm getting what, like two sandstone, two sandstone at the rate of, uh, yeah. And I, I completely forgot about it until Arcadius pointed it out. It's not, this isn't like the regular challenges where you, uh, you just have to have that in your inventory and you turn it in. This quartz has to be placed in the world somewhere. So, uh, I'm going to need to make some sort of objects or object or objects with all these quartz items. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll use those for the statuary up in the garden. Actually, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I, I know. I, I could, I could just, you know, toss it all down in a big quartz hunk somewhere, complete the challenge and then pick it all back up. But where's the fun in that? I could use that to make the fountain in the statuary that I was talking the fountains in the statuary that I was talking about. Which is what I think I will do. Uh, that should be close enough. I'm going to be mad if I build all those fountains in there and it's not close enough. Although it's like, what, within 60 blocks or so? Give or take? 50. Within 50 blocks. Still. Uh... Oh, let me, uh, let me go ahead and go like that. Get some coarse dirt. Uh, let me grab some regular dirt. Let's 
still within 50 blocks around here that that should be that should be fine let me go ahead and start working on expanding out this spot here Ooh. except there I have to figure out where the where those walkways go. Actually, this should help me get to island level 500 if I'm not already close enough there already. Because I just put down a bunch of stone and andesite and whatnot. Get some more dirt. I'll need to build those out and that out uh, a little bit more. So that way I don't do that while I'm trying to figure out how how big do I want this inner courtyard to be? Since I don't know, I think what I'll ju do is I'll just build these four platforms to the size that I want and then and then put the outer wall or the building or, I don't know, whatever. Something. Something with columns and ceilings and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough for another lap around, but uh, I'll burn that bridge when I get there. I know I'm going to want a couple of spots of coarse dirt. And then maybe... Throw one in there. Oh! That was almost bad. That was almost bad. Yep, 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 yep. That was very nearly a very big problem. And maybe come that way a little bit. Yeah. We'll pull this up and put that there. Throw that there. Throw something like that. That'll work for now. Especially if I throw... Yeah, because I, I don't like the... I don't like the andesite being right next to the polished andesite. Okay. So far, so good. Of course, it's already almost another day of trading. Oh, that's going to take so long. <laughs> Although the good decorations usually do. I mean, it didn't look that hard in Scar's time lapse.
I mean, I, is that what I need to do? I just need a, a peppy 80s montage music and uh, and then all of a sudden everything will be built? Is that how this works? <laughs> you know, instead I got the I got the lazy music. Yeah, it's magic. Or, or should I should I roll along badly singing? I will show you the world. Oh no! <laughs> busy being brain dead although i shouldn't say i shouldn't say it like that because honestly the this is a start i've got let me find a convenient place to stand so i'm basically going to take that general idea and down to the end of my island and down to the other end of the island which is a fair bit I, I'm probably going to have to stop and do a lot more resource gathering here and there, especially since I'm trying to texturize this as I go. And I gotta figure, I, I'm probably going to need some grass to fit in there as well. Um, and I want to light this up. Uh, matter of fact, let me go grab some light. Oh! Oh! What are you guys doing there? No, 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 no. No. Where did you guys come from? You're on a, you're on a, you're on a special place. You, or, oh, oh, because that chunk is an ocean. Because that chunk is an ocean because I was fishing. All right. Because that's, that's a deep, deep ocean chunk. Uh, change biome. Chunk. Mushroom. Let me go grab some lights. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I'll just do some uh, lanterns like I am with these guys here. And it's like what every... Uh, Every how many blocks between them? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a light. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a light. Four, five, six. Yeah. All right. Uh, I need. I need lanterns. Uh, I'm gonna need more lanterns than that. I mean, I got the iron farm, but I think. Then which one of these Yahoo sells lanterns? Somebody does. Uh, is it the librarians? Yeah, it's the librarians. Hi, guys. Uh, ah, jerk. Oh, come on. I was getting ready to say, if only one of you sells lanterns, we're, we're going to have words. I already got enough. Do you sell lanterns? Of course. You can't give me any other books, but you can at least give me lanterns. Uh, oh, because it's two in the morning, and I'm trying to shop at two in the morning. I am being that customer. But while I'm at it, you wouldn't happen to have one. No, of course you wouldn't. All right, let me go grab a bow and arrow, and then I will, um, uh, just when I thought I wasn't going to need those. <laughs> Oops. Uh, and if I teleport, I'm going to be on the backside where they are. So let me do the slow climb up. Although, hopefully they despawned because hopefully I got far enough away. Uh, and that's actually part of my problem too. I'm so far away from that patch of mycelium most of the time. It's not loaded enough to, to roll up another passive mob in the first place. And I was really hoping to get a mushroom or two. Or even just to get that guy to turn into a mushroom. That that would have been nice. Uh, 
I mean, I guess if I could get a uh, trident and a lightning storm. Hmm. Let, let's uh, let me go on that platform underneath and see if they're up there first. Although who knows, they they wandered off somewhere. Or should I just take my chances? I mean, oh, ah, I forgot to grab the polished uh, stuff. Okay, they're gone. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, light. Two, three, four, five, six, light. Two, three, four, five, six, light. Three, four, five, six, light. Three, four, five, six, light. 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 Ah, that's not quite right up to, uh, to the covered halls of Rest's Island. It's pretty close. I wonder, should she get any more, uh, any more chickens over here? I don't see a wandering trader to push off. I, I mean to uh, interact with. I got a reminder to uh, to get ready to keep moving the grass block. Because she's trying to keep a grass block. In between each of these guys. I thought I saw another. Yeah, okay. I did. I did saw another chicken. So, uh, <laughs> I don't think it'll let me pick up the egg. Yeah, nope, because I'm a visitor. Otherwise, I'd have totally thrown that egg all over the island. All right. That should solve <laughs> the uh, random guy spawning over the one little chunk, especially once I get to uh, set this up as a taiga. Um, yeah, that's not far enough to do that. Alright, let me go ahead and get this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, light. Is that right? That is right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, light. Five, six, light. Four, five, six, light. Light. That gets us down here, the foot between the firelight there and the lantern light up there. It should be okay, actually. Huh, I bought too many lanterns. Alright, it's not like I'm not going to put them to use later on, too. Uh, let me go grab uh, the, the polished andesite and... Granite. And I, I think I might be calling this one a little early tonight just because clearly my brain is dead. Um. Yeah, I don't need I don't need more than half a stack. So I'm not going that far. And I don't know. I probably am going to need a stack of uh, the andesite. So I'm basically building out. I'll go 32 blocks out in either of the two directions and then figure out the rest from there. Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Like, it's easy to figure out what to do at the end of that road, because that goes to Rast Island. It's easy to figure out what to do at the end of that road, because that goes to Medics Island. What do I do at that end? What do I do at that end? Uh, do I build, like, a little porch at the end of this that, that looks out at the glorious coffee pot of uh, coffee crafting? Actually, that's not a bad idea. I kind of like that. That has potential. Although, I don't think a half stack of slabs is going to get me to where I'm trying to go. So let's not, you know, let's not make more of this than it is. But that actually might not be a bad idea. Um, at the end of this road, on this side make a giant lookout towards that um like, like maybe a, a step up to an observatory or uh like when you go to when you go to the state parks and you see um i'm just thinking of some trips that i took out west where where you you find the these special views and so there there's a a concrete half circle of some sort uh, specifically designed to to provide an overlook onto the area for photography and uh, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to finish these two roads and then I will probably call it a night early. Because the brain is dead. Uh, hopefully between now and Tuesday, I'll get a chance to work on that rock wall a little bit more. Although I'm not so sure about that. I've got plans going on for most of the day Saturday, uh, that kind of preclude a lot of, a lot of that kind of work. So we'll see how that goes. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, light. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, light. Three, four, five, six, light. Disease, light. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a while. It's probably about time. Three, four, five, six. A delightfully crazy sci-fi movie. It's definitely one to shut off the brain and just enjoy the show. Although I'm also reminded that Arcadius has not yet seen Tremors. So that might be that might be something to rent and watch. Because I haven't seen Tremors since uh sometime in the nineties when it hit the the T V circuit. You know, that used to be the natural life cycle of movies where where it would be it would be in the theater, and then it would be for rental, and then the third round was, uh, it'd show up on late night TV. Oh, hush. Uh, no. No, we're not doing that. And it'd be the late 20th century. We're in the 21st. 19th century is the 1800s. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Tremors was a nice little sci-fi horror comedy type deal um, <laughs> with a very young Kevin Bacon. Uh, 
Oh. I know what I forgot to talk about. Uh, at the time of recording. It's the latest episode of Security Now. Uh, st- <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Steve Gibson went over... Never mind. I'm not going to be able to describe this and count at the same time. Uh, I'll count and then describe this while I go do a little bit more trading. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Light. Is that what I did down there? Did I only get two to the end? I think so. Let me check that. Otherwise, it means I miscounted. Which makes me wonder why I'm still putting more lanterns down like I didn't miscount. No, okay, I got that right. Sweet. Uh, Steve Gibson detailed out the the most epic senior prank uh, pulled off. He gave the full disqualifier that to remind people that what this guy did is technically illegal. The fact that they went light on him is an absolute miracle. Do not go doing anything like what I am describing unless you would like to be uh, sent to jail and given a wonderful little record that will follow you for the rest of your life and you'll have to check next to have you ever been convicted of a felony? Yes. Have I adequately scared you enough? Okay. So, what this kid did as a freshman. He was in his, quote, script kitty phase. And he and a couple of his friends decided to start. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that was not the objective. That was so not the objective. Um, so he and his friends were in their little uh, script kitty phase. And he decided to start port scanning the entirety of the school network. And, and they get about halfway through the IP space for the school's 10.10 uh, .10 network when the network administrators finally caught them and scolded them, uh, etc., etc. I'm going to try to condense this down because Steve actually went into all the technical details. I highly recommend catching... Uh, the latest security now, even if you just fast forward to this, which is towards the end of the, the episode. Um, the long and the short is that among all the things that he found while scanning for whatever was open on the school network, he found a number of school systems that were not behind an appropriate firewall and were not segmented off from the student accessible network. So that means that uh, anybody, anybody with a modicum of knowledge and skill uh, could, could see the device and interact with it. Um, one of those devices that he was able to see and interact with was the controller for all the school media. So the, the central server that streamed any audio video type stuff to the school, uh, the servers were there on the same network segment as the, as the students. Long story short, he and his friends started poking around throughout 
their school career and found out that a great many devices on the network uh, still had the default passwords. Whoever had set up the devices never bothered to change the passwords from the default to something, you know, actually secure. Uh, after a lot of planning and a lot of good, interesting technical stuff that I will skip over in the interest of time and to tempt you to go listen to Steve's uh, recounting of the event, um, he found out that he could actually issue commands to all the televisions, projectors, TVs, to include the Jumbotron in the cafeteria with the menu for all the schools in the system. So we're talking about a, a county-sized school system. Um, and the long and the short is after some uh, very careful trial and error and testing, he and his friends figured out how to write a script that would play a video of their choosing and um, reset the volume and power controls so if people turned off a projector, it would turn the projector back on. If people switched channels, it would change it back to the channel they were broadcasting on. Uh, if people turned off the volume or muted, it would turn the volume back on. And, and they set it up so for their senior prank, a, the, the, at a particular time when it would be the lunch hour and it would not interfere with finals or testing or any of that, they were very careful to make sure that they did not interrupt anything of consequence. Um, yes. They rickrolled the entire school system. The entire school system. All the schools in the system. Um, because, because they found out that a bunch of people... Yeah, th there's a lot of technical stuff. There's a lot of stuff that makes anybody with a modicum of networking knowledge go, they did what? And then people who worked with the school system go, of course they did. Um, <clears throat> so they set it up so that way... Five minutes beforehand, all the screens turned on, all the projectors turned on, like, like the projector, the projector screen would actually drop down, the projector would turn on, everything would go to, there's going to be a major announcement in five minutes, and there's a little five minute countdown. And some of his friends are filming so there, there's actual video of this event um and, and so everybody's sitting there looking at this countdown and of course they gave enough lead time that everybody else has heard about it and since nobody knew what was going on everybody's curious including the teachers uh because they don't know what's going on they didn't get a memo on this a and it played a solid 10 minutes of rick astley's never gonna give you up and then the scripts deleted themselves and reset all the systems back to their normal state. Two minutes after the Rickroll started, it automatically sent a 26-page security report to the network administrators. So they would know what was up. That is part of the reason why they did not throw the book at them. Because they were very careful about the timing, because they were very careful about what they did, because they reset everything back to exactly as it was, and they sent a detailed report. Now, here's the fun part. That wasn't all they did. While they were poking around, looking for all the media stuff to... Uh, all the media stuff to figure out, you know, what was going on and where things were and what they needed to do to pull off this prank. 
they discovered that the school's bell system ran off of a central server. So none of the bells were actual bells. They're computer speakers playing a bell sound off of the central server. Uh, normally, all the schools in the system were on different schedules, but because COVID, post-COVID, and everything that happened along with that, they just so happened to synchronize all the school schedules in the system. Um, in, in a stunning technical display of creative thinking and following logical chains and... and all sorts of stuff that you really need to go listen to Steve explain in detail because it, it's it's that special. Um, they managed to log into the school's bell system and they changed the bell tone to Rick Astley's never going to give you up for the final bell. So not only did they, they rickroll everybody at lunch for a solid 10 minutes, they changed the final bell for Friday going home to rickroll them a second time. <laughs> I mean, and, and you, you've got to listen to... You, You've got to listen to Steve talk about this because it, it is a it is a frustrating display of all the things that are wrong with the way a lot of systems are set up because the equipment was on a student accessible network that should have never been on a student accessible network. Like seriously, why are you not segmenting off bored teenagers from any equipment that runs anything. Why do you not have stuff locked down to a HAL, a hardware access list? Why why do you why do you why do you have so much gear on your network with the default password? And, and here's the funny thing, the bell system didn't actually had a, an appropriate secure password to it. One of the things that that gave them some trouble is they were trying to figure out how to how to how to get into the bell system to change it because it actually had a legit password. It wasn't the default password. And then they noticed that the bell system was backing up to a central backup server. So they started poking around where the central backup server was and they noticed that some of the other servers that they had access to with the default passwords were backing up there as well. So they checked the backup files for one of the servers with a password that they knew, and they noticed that um, an unsalted hash of the password was being stored in the backup file. And the backup server was using a default password. So they used the default password to log into the backup server, and then they got the hash for the password of the bell server and then looked up the hash in a hash table to reverse engineer the password. Which, if it was a good, solid, unique, proper password, you wouldn't be able to do. But obviously, this was not a good, simple, unique... Th this wasn't a... Yeah, this wasn't that kind of password. Uh, so they were able to find it in a hash table with no trouble whatsoever. Um... Yeah, so th there's just a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. It, it, it was, it's hilarious, it's funny, and it's depressing. <laughs> because the these are things that we've known about for decades, plural. <laughs> like, this is the stuff you should be learning in your Network 101 stuff. Like, change all the passwords. Salt your hashes. Uh, segment the network restrict access it, the, these are just fundamental basic stuff that everybody well should know 
but obviously not. Um, the 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 icing on the cake. The kid was asked to. Uh, I should say, I shouldn't say kid. He was 18 when he pulled this off, um, which legally makes him adult uh, if they had decided to throw the book at him and take him to court. Um, <clears throat> that's part of that warning that Steve gave earlier on. So, yeah, the, so the the network security team actually asked him to come and make a presentation. Now, the kid didn't do this solo. He did this with a team of friends because it, it did require multiple people to pull this off. Um, his friends were worried that this was a that this was a setup, and that if they went to do this presentation, they were going to get hauled in and, and uh, carted off with the law. Which, I mean, it's not an unreasonable expectation. Three, four. That actually should be one more over. Uh, so, I mean, they, they weren't wrong. But the kid at our... Uh, the gentleman who pulled this off as a senior prank had already decided that uh, he he was going to turn himself in at the end. He 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 was going to admit to it, and he he had his name on the security report. He was going to go talk to the security team. Uh, he knew that he was gonna he was gonna take ownership of what he had done from the word go. Uh, so when they invited him, he actually went in person. And the rest of his team logged on anonymously uh, via remote service to uh, to get to chime in on various parts. Uh, so yeah, there that was. All all in all, a really fun story. Um, oh, you can't put that on a stair. Okay. All in all, a really fun story. Uh, just you know, <laughs> it, it's worth hearing the whole the whole thing with all the details. Um, and this kid got very very lucky that he did not get sent to jail because what he did was very illegal. Um, and if anybody anybody had decided to be that kind of serious, he'd have been in some trouble. Um. He is now studying uh, network security at the university, at one of the state universities where he lives. And, uh, yeah, I, I think he has a promising career as a pen tester <laughs> to be a part of some company's security operations team, probably, uh, probably part of their red team deal, you know, that kind of thing. Just in case you, you, just in case you don't know, bigger companies will have a group of people whose sole job it is is to pretend to be hackers and try to break in to see where all the flaws are. So large companies will have pen testers on staff, and that is literally their job: is to spend all day, every day, figuring out the weak spots and. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't even want to think about that one. Uh, that's, that's one of those things that, you know, um, I, I totally lost my train of thought. All right. Let, let, let me, let me call it right there. You, you, you can see, you can see what kind of headspace I'm in. I'm not. All right. So this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is always Coffee Craft. Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is up in the air until I get my life together. Um, just a lot of tired, a lot of, a lot of something. I will get games revisited back on track. I just don't know when. So come tune in. I will always do something, and I hope to be getting back to games revisited sometime in the very near future. Uh, let's see, who is available for a raid? Ooh. Two of my favorites are both live again. I hate when I have to make choices like this, so uh, 
Grimly, G-R-I-M-L-I, is playing Path of Exile. And Beast Lord J is playing Monster Hunter World. Let's go, uh, let's go say hello to Beast Lord. I'm going to hit the title card, then I'm going to hit the raid button. Stick around, join me in the raid, and I'll see you next time.